When I gave up on men, I wrote a poem. I had many bad experiences with men, and of course I have a story of how I came to this point in my life. But I don't blame the men that I loved along the way. I don't blame them for how they treated me. I don't blame them for the suffering that I experienced as a result. And this is because I'm a very introspective person and I've done a lot of self-analysis. And I realized that ultimately it all had to do with how I was treated as a child and how I was raised in my family. And that determined the kind of men that I fell in love with. But I'm not going to talk about those things in this video. Love and marriage was my life purpose. I never wanted anything else in life and I still don't want anything else in life. And I don't think I ever will. And I just want to tell the story of what I did when I gave up on men and I gave up on my life purpose. I gave up on love and marriage. I wrote a poem. I wrote a poem called Releasing the Dream. And I wrote it down on a piece of paper and I rolled the piece of paper up and I put the piece of paper in an empty plastic water bottle. It was an Evian water bottle and the label had fallen off of it. I had taken measures to waterproof the message. And I brought the bottle down to southern France. I went to the top of the fortress that is in this picture, located on a small island with a monastery where monks are living off of the coast of southern France. And I took the bottle to the top of the fortress and I threw the bottle into the ocean or into the Mediterranean Sea. And with that, I released my dream. I released me from my life purpose. I released myself from the drive of pursuing men, from the drive of pursuing love, from the idea that I would ever be married. And now I just want to read the poem that is somewhere out there around the Mediterranean Sea. Release the dove, conjugial love has no business here. Let her fly, free, and cry, I've reached beyond my greatest fear. And there I found, too tightly bound, the folk of earthly mind. So off I go to soar and flow, where heart and soul unwind. Her love took wing so her heart could sing and carry her on a stream, to a sacred embrace where love still has grace, and conjugial love is the dream. And in her flight she shone her light and caught her lover's eye. He took her to perch and they ended their search and now side by side they lie.